how's it going guys i hope you're all having an excellent week i didn't get to do a video last week as we were traveling it was thanksgiving now that i'm on vacation i have some time to put out a video and i'm at my parents house right now and this is the house where i spent the majority of my time here in the united states in my 20s and it got me thinking about things that i did in my 20s that i wish i'd done differently and it's advice that i can give to you if you're in your 20s and you feel stuck in life i've put together four things that i would suggest to my 20 year old self now that I've lived through those years so I'm in my 30s now I've lived through these uh, things and I'm gonna share these with you so the first step is gonna be don't spend your money on stupid shit when I was in my 20s I spent way too much time buying stupid stuff I spent a lot of money on uh, video games I spent a lot of money going out to clubs now while I was working and I was paying for my university I was staying at home so I had the opportunity to save up a lot more money but like I said I was buying stupid stuff and if I look back at that now well yes I did have an investment account investing was not my main goal and it was just buying stupid things buying clothes um, skateboards and if I look back now I would have definitely done that differently so be cognizant of where your money is going and on what you're spending your money on and set that investment account up now and when you're in your teens or if you haven't in your 20s set that up and make that a priority as part of your income to put money into investments so that is my, my first piece of advice the second one is going to be find your career now if you're in your 20s not everybody is designed or not everyone has the, the abilities to be an entrepreneur so it's just not some people's calling you may have a an excellent career that you want to follow and I highly respect that if you want to go towards a career or if you want to start a business and you don't want to work I highly respect that as well but if the career is for you then I suggest finding your passion finding your calling whether you have to study for it or if you need to get a trade go to a trade school do something that you enjoy and focus on advancing within that career and this is going to be something because I was just thinking today I, um, I took my wife and my son back to where we first moved to in the United States almost 20 years ago and if I think about if I had joined the military 20 years ago I would be coming up on retirement right now so look at a career time goes by so fast you don't realize it and if that is the route that you want to take focus on that and get your head down and work and then combine that with step number one where you go ahead and invest that money that's coming through with your career step number three so one and two don't mean anything if you don't do step number three which is financial literacy it's so important to get the basic financial literacy down high school does not teach you this stuff um, YouTube in fact will teach you far more than high school or even some universities will teach you about basic financial literacy understand how finances work understanding how investments work look at different forms of investments look at different accounts that you can set yourself up with learn about taxes learn about cash flow those are the essential things that if you do not have in place you're not going to know where your money is going and you're going to be again spending it on stupid stuff and you're not going to have a budget in place and that way you won't be able to invest and save up your money so definitely look into improving your financial literacy study the basics of finance learn how your your income and your expenses work and know where your money is going and that is going to set you up for success for steps one and two as well now the next step and this is something that i did get to do in my 20s but it's something that I, I wish i had done more of and that is find time to travel now when you're doing step number three you have your financial literacy which is personal finance and it involves budgeting i recommend setting aside money for traveling so that way you'll have your investments but then you'll also have your account where you could travel to wherever whether it's 100 miles or 1000 miles you have that money set aside so that you can just go ahead and see the world now i had the opportunity to live in two different countries and i got to work in those countries and learn the languages you might not have access to that you may not have um, the opportunity to do that but even if you get away for you know a couple of days a week or two weeks going to a foreign country you will learn so much in just that amount of time you'll have so much more respect for that foreign culture and it is worth so much that you cannot get that by just um, investing or, or saving up your money so those are experiences that are essentially priceless 
but you do need to plan those into your budget so that way you don't get stuck and you can mix your investing with your traveling expenses guys i've lived through my 20s i'm in my 30s right now um, i have a family now you know i'm working in my career trying to do my side hustle as well um, you always feel like you want more and that's uh, one little bonus piece of advice is don't get greedy life is not all about money i sometimes find myself so focused on just trying to make more money and, and get more and more and more that i forget to live in the moment and enjoy the little things um, about life you know whether it's just going for a walk outside calling a loved one giving them a hug um, having a conversation with someone calling up an old friend it's those little things in life that we just overlook so many times when we're so focused on the hustle the grind and making money and um, always remind yourself to to look at those little things when you see yourself getting caught up in and trying to get the quick buck and trying to get grab some money remind yourself about those things and makes life so much more worth living for and um, that has been today's video guys hope you got value out of that remember um, if you ever have any questions you can hit me up on the on chat i'm on twitter every day posting on instagram um, keep your head in the game i will get some more um, investing videos coming out soon uh, look after each other and i'll catch you guys on the next video take care cheers